Bruce, Huntington Beach, California. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hello. Hey, Bruce. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. I'm going to talk quickly. I know you're running short on time. Leo, I've called before, uh, not about this, but and always gotten, always received uh, excellent uh, advice. Thank you. I've got a MacBook Air, 2012, mid 2012, and it's boot camped so that Windows starts by default. Okay. I, I'm constantly getting messages from Microsoft asking me to upgrade to Windows 10. I hate you know, that. All right. Well, I uh, I hit them, uh, of course, but. You know what? I want to upgrade. I think I, I'm running Windows 7, of course. Well, you might as well. In fact, I like Windows 10 a lot, and it is free. Uh, and it, it's not guaranteed to stay free after July 29th. So. Well, I'm not worried about the money. What I'm worried about, will, will I have any up, uh, problems because I'm running um, uh, a boot camped machine? Are the drivers there that I would need? Uh, so I, my keyboard, my monitor, my uh, screen will be working. You know what? That's a great question because it's Apple hardware. So it, in Windows world, the manufacturer of the hardware provides drivers so that Windows 10 can talk to it because they figure, hey, nobody knows better than the guy who made the board or the, or the computer how to talk to it. In the case of Boot Camp, which is Apple's dual boot system, so you can run Windows and Macintosh on the same hardware, Apple's responsible for those drivers. Fortunately, Apple has made those drivers available. 64-bit Windows 10. As long as your well, Mac I, is... I don't have a 64... I don't have 64-bit, I don't think. I'm 32. What, um... That's all right. Windows... Windows no, but what, uh, How old is the Mac? Uh, 2012. Mid oh, you're fine. Yeah, so that's a 64-bit computer. And the nice thing about the Windows license is you get 32 or 64, whatever makes sense. All right, will I need any registration keys? Nope. Okay. This is that thing, I don't know if you were listening a minute ago, but this is the new entitlement system. So it's well, uh, it's no, registered to that Mac. For, for, from yes. Microsoft's point of view, that Mac it touches a Windows computer. Right. So in other words, all I do is I click on it and I sit back and pray. <laughs> well, that's no different than any, anything else you do with a computer, but yes. So here's uh, there's an article, and I'm going to recommend it uh, from Apple Support. It's uh, uh, 204990. I'll put a link in the uh, show notes that says, Using Windows 10 on your Mac with Boot Camp. And uh, you can see if you have a supported model. You do because you have a late model Mac. Mm -hmm. You'll see where you can download the ISO from Microsoft of Windows 10. And you'll see how you get the drivers. And you have several choices. You can either perform a new install of Windows 10 or an upgrade install. You want to do an upgrade. That way you'll have it automatically licensed. It does say you want the 64-bit. But you can upgrade from an, uh, an existing 32-bit version of Windows. You just need to... You need to use the 64-bit for the new version. All right. All right and, so and how they, do I find out if I have a 32 or 64? I thought doesn't I would, matter. I, you can find out by uh, looking in the uh, in the properties of your Windows uh, install, but it doesn't matter. You can install. You don't. It's not two separate SKUs. It's all one one version of Windows. So all I do is I click on it, and it should. Uh, It'll just upgrade. Say it. yes. Thank you for annoying me for the last six months. I'm ready. Upgrade me, man. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. And here's the list. Anything 2012 is going to be uh, it's going to be supported. So they give you a fully you know that's the only question. Has Apple written Windows 10 drivers? And the answer is yes.